Okay, questions for Mark Denny? Before, before you guys ask any questions, I'd like to start by just saying what an honor it was uh, to coach against Jack Parker. Uh, he's one of the reasons why I wanted to come back to Hockey East, uh, to coach against the likes of uh, Coach Parker and, and Coach York and Coach Millie. Uh, pleasure of coaching with, with Don Cahoon, which gave me a little bit of access for a BC guy into what BU's all about. Um, the, the game will take a, an absolute hit with, with his departure. Pretty big shoes to fill. Coach, uh, Jerry York always likes to say that it's really hard to take uh, another team's sticks away. You guys played like you don't want to go for your sticks. Can you comment on your team's play? I thought we played much better tonight than we did last night. We gave ourselves a chance to win. Um, some great efforts by a lot of people. But Sam made some really big saves when he needed to. Wasn't good enough. You feel like your team had uh, better control of the great area and uh, being up the banger? Yeah, I did. I thought uh, we had a pretty good net front presence. Um, and that's where you got to go to score goals. I know Mr. Britannia won't agree with me, but goal equipment's got to get smaller. I mean, there's just no place to shoot. You know, I mean, it's, it's the majority of goals are three yards in a pile of dust. You know, I don't know how many people want to watch that. Um, then you add the, the five guys out there trying to block shots in front of it. And, but that's, you do, you need to go there. And I thought we did a better job of that. Can you talk about what your message and what your leader's message was after last night's game, obviously, being so dissatisfying as well? Um, I was pretty uh, inconsolable last night after that game because as a coach, you want to be able to tell your players what they need to do uh, to, to give them the best opportunity to succeed. And I didn't really have any answers after that game. And, uh, and then I watched the video. And as they usually say, you're never as bad as you think you are. You're never as good as you think you are when you watch the video. And um, thankfully saw a number of things that I thought if we cured, we would improve on. And um, woke up this morning. The sun actually rose. My daughter Kelsey scored two against Amesbury. And uh, you know we, we came up with a game plan that we thought would work. What was the team's mindset uh, into the second period? You had the lead, and then they sort of lead power play goal. Just what was the mindset coming into that? Same as same as it was going. I mean, I thought our guys played stayed stayed with it pretty positive most all night long. What was the method to your line changes for today? Uh, looking for a spark. Are those guys, uh, to be honest with you, I mean. Half's played with Batesy and, and, and Mizey, and, and Mike's played with, with Vinny and, and Toombs before, so, it, you know, it's a long year. These guys know each other pretty well. It's obviously a little early to get in depth, but can you put a little post-mortem on this season, just kind of sum up what you saw from this team this year? No. You know, there'll be plenty of time for that. Um, just thinking about my four seniors in there. Um, it's, it's humbling, the, the commitment that those kids have uh, today's day and age. It's, these student athletes, um, physically, uh, nutrition, weight training, class. I mean, it's it's humbling. Talk about Kyle specifically, his reputation around the league, he's kind of used to be as public as he is, you know, but just talk about his role within your team for the last four years. He's been a, a big part, and I don't mean that just figuratively, um, of our team since he got here. He was a part of a pro. He was a, he was a part of a class that we thought could change the culture of our program. Uh, he's a part of the winningest class in the history of our school. He went to three playoffs. He went to a hockey East championship and NCAA tournament, uh, and he was a big part in all that. You know, uh, I think when he gets to the next level, and I've said this before, um, this isn't a knock on anything. It's I think at the next level, a third of his penalties won't be penalties because the guys he's hitting, he's not going to knock over. I mean, he's he's Paul Bunyan. Any, any of your seniors say anything to guys, whether it be last night or over this morning, picking on you know, that, that leadership role that anybody had anything to say for that game last night? No, our leaders are our leaders, you know, and, and uh, Jordan's done a great job all year long as captain. Um, but everybody in our program is vested. So um, this time of year, motivation is not an issue. It comes down to execution. Anything else? Thank Thanks, you. Guys.